What's that? She's been gunning for you in the company? You better not screw around her. I think soon Fei Fei is not easy to deal with. Why are you scared? Have a little faith in me. Don't worry, I'll get rid of her for you. What are you gonna do? Ah, uh, yes, hello. Am I speaking with Miss Soon? This is Mr. Lei, the guy who scratched your car. I'd like to talk to you about making things right. Are you free tomorrow? It's just about the compensation. Contact my secretary. There's no need to call me. I disagree. I mean, you are the victim after all. It's best we speak in person. Besides, that accident has made me feel really, really bad. How about we have dinner together, huh? Let's get some dinner. Have dinner with you? For thousands of yuans? No thanks. How much? Hey, wait. Is your car studded with jewels or something? How could it be that expensive? Okay. Now that I'm in trouble, I must at least recover my losses. Look, I'm a man who hates owing others. Why don't you give me your assistant's contact info and my assistant will transfer the money. Why are you still here? And why would I leave? I'm a VVIP at this gym. I might as well exercise while I'm here. yoga room, sir. Is there something I can do for you? Oh, uh, I, um, I've come to learn yoga on my mom's behalf. I'm sorry for disturbing you. I'm sorry. Let me clean this up. Okay, let's change to the other side. It seems you're quite a dutiful son, Mr. Lei. Oh, thanks. Actually, everyone in my family loves working out all the time. So in a way, we're the same. <laughs> I wonder why we do this. I mean, with the hands. Like this. Please keep quiet during the class. Stop wondering and just do it. You love working out, right? And remember, you're doing this for your I mother. Persevere. Persevere. Perseverance brings victory. <laughs> huh? Sorry for bothering you all. Keep it up. Xiao Liang, hi. Hi, Miss Soon. You left this at our office. Oh, thanks a lot. I'm sorry for making you come all this way. <laughs> if there's nothing else, I'll be on my Wait, way. Wait, hang on. You see, there's something wrong with my car. It's in the shop being repaired. So would you mind giving me a ride home? No problem. <laughs> Just push down hard like this. Got it? <laughs> Why are you here? Oh, uh, well, I'm here to exercise. By the way, let me introduce you to my friend. Hey, tell me what your name is. Hey. You know him? Uh, well, we, we've met several times. Right, dude? Quite a few times, yeah? This is a friend of mine in Miduas, Lei Yimei. Ah, you're Miduo's friend. 
Nice to meet you. Same here. You betrayed me, you traitor. <laughs> so... You made a move when Senfei Fei for Mito's sake? Why would I do something like this for her? I did it for your sake. For my sake? Uh huh. <sighs> of course it's for you. Think about it. If I attract Sun Fei Fei's attention, she'll finally stop bothering you and peace can once again be restored. Also, in the process, I'll be helping Mito get rid of a potential rival. What do you think? Do you really believe? that there's something going on between me and Sun Fei Fei? Well, I know there's nothing going on now, but but it seems that Miss Soon wants something to happen between you, so something must be done right away while it's early. Therefore, you need to cut her off at the pass and nip it in the bud, you get what I'm saying? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Listen, you're wrong about this, Lei Yiming. Miss Soon does not have a crush on me. Do you know what I do for a living, huh? I am a doctor, <laughs> and not just a doctor, a gynecologist. Not only am I familiar with a woman's body, I also know how their mind works, especially when it comes to matters of love. My eyes have become super sensitive to every detail. I can see them all. And with that, I'm telling you the way Sun Fei Fei looked at you earlier today at the gym was not as simple as you thought. My 60 years of experience says she likes you. Try to recall it, the way she looked at you. And batted her eyelashes? How do you finally get it, Chao Liang? Why Miduwa feels threatened by her? If a woman loves you as much as she does, then it's natural for her to get jealous over you. Trust is not the true standard for testing love. Jealousy is. Think about it carefully. Remember what you said to me in Korea. Remember you promised me to take care of Miduwa. You've made full use of my skills. Now I have to go to work. Finish my play. I'm off. mind that I suddenly asked you out. Of course not. Now that we're working together with Xiao Liang, I consider you a friend to both of us. So why would I mind going out to meet a friend? I don't really know any of your friends well, but I guess I should. Take it as a compliment that you think I'm one of them. Miss me. Is it fun to have me followed by your friend? Say what you want about me, but don't slander my friends. <laughs> I didn't slander your friends. Even if I don't have a crush on Xiao Liang, this little provocation of yours forces me to respond. Maybe in the near future, Xiao Liang will become my boyfriend. Bed number 12, advanced stage and hypertension. We need to prepare for a C-section. Number 23, premature baby at 2.5 kilos. Please provide care according to the relevant standards. But we're short of nurses, Dr. Lei. Can we... You can't. 2.5 kilos is the critical standard, but we still have to be vigilant since the baby's premature. We do the work, not just to get it done. We need to do it perfectly. Oh, what is it? <laughs> There's something different about you today, Dr. Lei. When you speak, you sound like Dr. Fang. It's really attractive. Dr. Fang, yes? here's today's package. Oh, thank you. It's been three days in a row. Your friend really cares. Oh, he's also quite interesting. He said 
The delivery guy must be a handsome man, so that's why I came. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is interesting. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Jeez, Dr. Fang, this is so sweet of him. I remember the day before it was cupcakes, and yesterday it was fondant cakes. Today it's facial masks. He must be making a move on you. Right. This man is good at choosing gifts. Who is he? Tell us, doctor. It doesn't say. I'm giving this to you. Oh, really? Thank, Thank you, you, Dr. Dr. Fang. Fang. You guys enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't well, this great? This. <sighs> Based on the way she put the card away after reading it, and my 60 years of experience in relationships, there must be something there. <laughs> Greetings. This is Junwei. After I saw you make a speech during the most recent international seminar of gynecology, I was suddenly and completely smitten. It's been so long, hasn't it? How have you been? I sincerely regret having hurt you in the past. Wen Shi, hello. If I remember correctly, this is your favorite chocolate cake. I really hope I got it right. Wen Shi, would you please give me a chance? so that I can make up for hurting you in the past. I like you, Wenshi. Can we please meet? Love, Junwei. Huh? What happened to the lights? Another blackout? Sorry, forgive me. Hey, watch where you're going. Whoa. What's wrong with you? You're insane. Dr. Fang, what's going on with you? Why are you all made up? So what if I am? I just, I just put on a little makeup. Don't the girls you usually meet wear a boatload of this stuff? What's with all the fuss? Wearing heavy makeup has its own rules. However, your current appearance has totally gone even beyond the realm of makeup. That is called a disguise. So tell me. Are you going to meet a man or a ghost? If it's a man, then he's pretty damn hardcore. Or are you cosplaying? Which character are you? In the moon's name, I punish you! Stop that! Be serious! I'm very serious. Listen to me. Who I meet is my business. Don't stick your nose in. I'm leaving. Hang on, wait a second. I really suggest you take a look at your face and your makeup. I don't need to. No, let I go! Mean, I'll be late! Come on. Okay, fine. Give it to me. Ah! Oh my goodness! <sighs> hey! Stop right there! Dr. Lane, why are there. you still here? Isn't that a patient? Why is that patient over there? There's no patient. He must be in the hallway. Go check it out. I just saw him a second ago. There's no one there, Dr. Lane. Oh, you're right. Hey, who's this? She's acting weird, Dr. Lane. She's a he. A man dressed I'm a he. like this? This is his fashion sense. He just likes wearing dresses. Dr. Lane, you're acting strange. Is this your girlfriend? What girlfriend? At most, he's a boyfriend. Now go on, do your work. <laughs> Come on, let's go, go. <laughs> Hey, here. Thank you. Uh, um, and thanks for what you did. Um, if they saw me like that with all that makeup on, I wouldn't know how I could face them tomorrow at work. <laughs> uh, aren't you curious about how I look today? Why didn't you ask me about it? All right, since you're now being so candid with me, I'll tell you my thoughts on the matter. I think that today you planned to meet a very important person, and you wanted to show him your best side, but the light suddenly went out when you were doing your makeup. That's why your face looks so strange, am I right? Oh, well, well, actually, see, I disliked you at first, but only for a little bit. So I inquired about your past. I'm so sorry for prying into your life. I, I meant no harm. <sighs> actually, back when I was in college, I kept to myself, and I didn't make any friends, which is why the boys never paid me any attention. But then, in my junior year, 
I suddenly developed a crush on a boy. He was in my year in department. He was quite tall and fair-skinned. He was an excellent student, too. At that time, I really thought that he was the one, my Mr. Wright. So then, I made up my mind to tell him my feelings on his birthday. Oh, and guess what? I even went so far as to make him a cheesecake for a birthday present. You made him cheese? Cheesecake. Oh, okay, I get it. I remember when I was standing in front of his house, I was so nervous that I couldn't even say anything, and I was shaking so hard. But then he said something that I would never forget. He said, Hmm, ew, it looks so dirty. Only a fatty like you could make it. So back then, you were overweight? Hmm, more than a hundred kilos. I know that I'm a fatty. But does that mean I don't have the right to even like other people? Am I doomed to lead a pathetic existence my whole life? Why is it that there was never anyone in the world who liked me? Is a person's appearance really that important? Does it really determine what our entire lives are going to be like? Don't worry. I'm here. Yeah, I can understand. Thank you. Here. What's that? His letters to me. You want me to read them? Mm -hmm. Is this right? It's not inappropriate. He says he can't get me out of his mind and that he still likes me despite how long it's been. Thing is, I don't know men very well. I don't know if I should meet this guy that I secretly fell in love with for eight long years. You were right, I actually wanted to show him my best side. That's why. You saw me just now with all that embarrassing makeup on. No, it's not embarrassing. Anyway, this meeting is a little suspicious, don't you think? Honestly, I've been hesitating as to whether or not I should go and meet him. Here. <sighs> Dr. Lei, do me a favor. Huh? Yo, what's up? Who are you? You're at the wrong table. I'm not, aren't you, Mr. Gao Gao Jinwei? I happen to be Fang Wang Chi's boyfriend. Really? You're her boyfriend? I thought that she was single all this time. You mean we should announce to the world that we're a couple? Hmm? Fang Wang Chi's a cautious girl. You ought to be aware of that, man. This meeting's supposed to be private, yet she let me know about it. So you see, I picked the right table. You feel me? Well, how do I say this? It seems that her taste in men is... Mr. Go, I won't say this again. Please watch your language. Uh, anyway, to tell you the truth, the two of us are together only because of my father, who's the director. He's the one who made the match. But she's not my cup of tea, you know? What do you mean? I would like to talk to you about negotiating some terms. I can give her to you at any time. Just tell me when. I'm already flushed with girls anyway. But what's in it for me? How do I know I can even trust you? Oh, I just remembered. <sighs> These are your letters, right? She replied. You should know her handwriting. June Wei, I already have a boyfriend. Let bygones be bygones. Take care. It's okay if you really like her. No problem. I can help you. She's a simple girl who works way too much. I can make her all yours with no trouble whatsoever. But before I do, let's negotiate. May I know your name? My name is Wu. Wu Seren. Uh, can I be frank? The truth is, there's something really important that I need Fang Wenqi's help with. 
Two years ago, I was able to get a work visa in the US, but my green card hasn't been approved yet. You know how it is. It's becoming harder and harder to get a US visa. So I'm really worried about this. It's crucial for me to have one. It just so happened that I saw her deliver a speech at the most recent international gynecology seminar. The topic she discussed also happens to be the focus of my own research. So if you can somehow persuade her to give her research to me, as well as her data, well then, I'll make sure to make it worth your while. It's win-win, and we don't have to do anything like uh, pretend to start a romantic relationship. What do you think? Honestly, when she's really beautiful and attractive now, if she looked the same as before, the two of you would never have gotten together at all, no matter what your father tells you. Oh. You must be thirsty from all that talking. When she... Uh, uh, hey! What are you doing? I didn't expect you to be so mean. I must have been blind to fall in love with someone like you. Look what you did to my suit! Uh, 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 Mr. Gao, Mr. Gao, don't get angry, okay? I have to tell you what you said and what you did just now has all been recorded on my phone. I hope you bear this in mind in the future. I mean, if this video finds its way to the internet, then I guess the U.S. will become just a dream. Not to mention having a stigma attached to you like a defamation. That's a lot to stomach. You! you. Also, I noticed that there's a ring mark on your ring finger, which means you're married. Isn't that a little too obvious? And yet you still lie to us, huh? If I were you, I would have learned my lesson already. I'd walk away and never show my face to us ever again. Otherwise, I'll ruin your life. You feel me? All right, shall we go? Hmm. Let's go. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna wear shit. You don't mind, your suit's already wet anyway. Goodbye. Chill, man. Try this, it's really good. I'm so stupid. And naive for still believing true love exists. True love does exist, but you won't find it in awful people like that guy. Hey, how did you figure out that he was lying from the very beginning? Listen carefully, I'll explain. If a man truly and deeply loves a woman, he'll care so much that he'll pay close attention to everything about her. Mm. Your class as a chat grouper, mm. then it was easy for him to get the skinny on you. It was obviously paid no attention to you. It was just a last minute effort to make a play for you. For instance, he sent you all those cakes, clueless to how much you've changed. He's the kind of man who can make use of a woman's affection to achieve his own goals, which is exactly why he's scum. I see. It's obvious I know nothing about men. Also, I saw there was a mark on his left ring finger. It was a clear sign as well. It could only mean he took the ring off before we met, that he took it off for you. He never expected that he'd fall into my trap. Bingo! Uh, Dr. Lei, you really seem like an expert with these insights. But of course, I'm the best there is. Best or beast? <laughs> I was you joking. You shouldn't be judging my character like that. <laughs> Who is this beast you speak of? He's the beast, okay? Yeah, He's got the beast. that right. I was just kidding. Anyway, Dr. Lei, I really need to thank you for today. Also, um, for how I've treated you until now. I'm sorry. It's all good. Hi, Laming. Oh, hi. Uh, let me introduce you. This is my buddy, the one I always talk about, Miduo. And Miduo, this is Dr. Fang Wengxi. Oh, so you're the dragon lady with a heart of ice. She's the one who made you toe the hey, line. <laughs> it's rude to observe out things like that. Nice Come to on, meet Patty. you. Uh, hello. Now that you've met, why not join us? Sit. How about I go grill up some shish kebabs for us? Great. You're gonna love it. I'm telling you, I'm good at this. I'll be back. Oh, where's my drink? There it is. <laughs> me too. We have some similar experiences. The difference is you're much luckier than me. You managed to find the one you love. I can tell Dr. Lei loves being by your side. No, please don't misunderstand. Lei Ming and I are just good friends. There's nothing else between us. <laughs> Even so, I can still tell you care deeply about each other. Hmm. Let's put it another way. Do you know why Dr. Lei tolerates me? Despite all those conflicts and all those arguments we've had, why do you think he continued to put up with me through all of that? <laughs> The reason is, he accidentally found out that you and I are quite similar. That's why he doesn't have the heart to hurt me. He thinks of me as your shadow. Miduo, trust me on this. He cares deeply about you. I mean it. 
I thought you invited people from Blue Flame. Why is it just you? Don't worry. Have a seat. From tomorrow onwards, our company will be investing in yours. With so much money at stake, you don't think it's worthwhile to have a meal together? That depends on who I'm having it with, as well as the reason why we're having it. I'll be honored to eat with my clients. However, if some woman's trying to buy my time, then she should just stop. What do you mean? You lured me with a project and booked the entire place. How is this any different from what you did to me in the bar? Sinfeifei, I suggest you abandon this project immediately because I'll never fall in love with you. Don't waste your time. Isn't your relationship with me Duo the waste of time? Xiaoliang, you follow certain rules in our circle. Even if the prince chooses Cinderella, she might not transform into a princess and may eventually even cost the prince's entire kingdom. Now, instead of that, why doesn't the prince choose a princess who's on equal footing with him? I already gave it up in Korea, the so-called kingdom you're talking about. I can do it again, without hesitation. Don't you think it's pathetic if I choose you only because of your background? How can you say I depend on my background? All I meant was, we're the same sort of people. Don't you think that in every... <sighs> you left even before I did. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Shao, bad news. Mr. Soon has decided to withdraw his investment. Mr. Chairman, the Blue Flame people have also heard the news. They require an immediate response from our side. Xiao Liang, what the hell is happening? Please give us the room. Is everything they told us true? Why is Mr. Sun withdrawing his investment? Father, I assure you I'll find a solution to the capital and reply as soon as possible to Blue Flame. But I need you to give me some more time. The question I need an answer to is why did they suddenly change their mind? It's because I rejected Sin Fei Fei. I asked her not to continue the project. How could you do this? I knew sooner or later that Meadwo will bring about my company's downfall. You really... Oh, look at that. Father! 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 Call an ambulance! Yes. Hurry! Father! 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 Sure. Um, so the chairman's not well. You need to head to the hospital. What happened? How's to my you? father? No time to explain. We need to hurry. How's father? Do you have any news? They're still operating on him. What happened? I reminded him the other day to take his medicine. Medicine? You mean he has a medical condition? Father asked me to keep it a secret so you wouldn't worry about him. <laughs> How dare you hide such a thing from me? He's my father too, Xiaoliang. All right, okay, enough. This is down. not the right time to fight. The chairman's health matters. He started hemorrhaging during the operation. We don't have enough blood in stock. He needs a transfusion fast. Is anyone among you type O? I am. I'm blood type O. What can Come I do to me. help? Okay. Lin Ziliang? That's me, nurse. I'm Lin Ziliang. Here. Here's the result. Thanks. Uh, excuse me, nurse. Can I ask if my blood is healthy? Is it usable? Your blood's very healthy. We also cross-examined it with a patient's blood and found that it's suitable as backup blood. However, we have to follow procedure to the letter. So I have to ask what your relationship is. I'm his son. He's my father. Huh? Did you just say you're his son? Yes. But your family name is Lin, right? Why didn't you tell me this before? Blood donations aren't allowed among direct blood relatives. 
But if I remember the report correctly, the patient's blood type is AB. If you're his son, how could you be type O? It's impossible. How can the patient have a son whose blood type is O? Nurse, what are you saying? I don't understand. If a parent's blood type is AB, it's impossible for him to have a type O child. Perhaps you're mistaken about some things. Ah, uh, please excuse me, I have other work to do. my father. The operation was successful. However, his condition is still unstable. Be patient as we observe him. Thank you. Thank you. Since the operation was successful, the chairman must already be out of danger. Try not to worry so much. I was too careless. If I didn't defend Sun Fei Fei's father, my father wouldn't be in this situation. Mr. Xiao, the staff heard about the chairman's operation. The whole company's in chaos. Our major shareholders are there. Mr. Shen wants you back. Chiu, until father wakes up, I'm staying here. That's what matters Mr. now. Mr. Xiao, Mr. Shen can't handle the pressure on his own. Only you can deal with the situation. Do it for the chairman's sake. You need to get everything stabilized. Just go. I can take care of the chairman. Don't worry. I look after him like my own dad. He'll be safe with me. All right, thank you so much. Let's go. It's impossible. I'm not my father's son. It's impossible. Father. Wake up soon, okay? Why is God treating me like this? Is this perhaps a test for me? Or is this a test for you? Do you know which one it is, Father? What should I do now? Huh? Why are you here? Shaolin has left. He went back to the office to deal with things. Um, don't worry, he'll be back soon. Um, I see. You must be hungry. I'll go get some food. Wait, hang on. I can buy it for you instead. What would you like to have? That way you can stay here with your father. All right. to go and visit your father. So how is he doing? Has he woken up already? I didn't dare visit him on the same day he fainted for fear I'd run into his staff. Ziliang. Ziliang. I am talking to you, Ziliang. Can you hear me? Ziliang. What's the matter with your father? He's fine. Miduo found someone to help him. Why is that woman there? I need to go there now. Mother. I want to hear the truth. Is that man lying in the hospital? My real father or not? Why are you asking all of a sudden? 
Who else but him could be your dad? These are my blood test results. Read it carefully. For the very first time, I learned my father's type AB. And since I'm type O, medically speaking, it's impossible for me to be his son. Mother, why did you hide this from me for so long? Huh? Son, please listen to me. Your biological father was always broke. If we had stayed with him, our lives would have been completely ruined. Ruined, I tell you. So what you're saying is... I am not his biological son? And that I'm nothing more than an abandoned bastard? Sweetheart, how can you say that? The reason why I tried so hard to hide it was so you could have a legitimate identity. I don't care about everyone else, but you can't think that way. A legitimate <gasps> identity? Tell me where the legitimacy has been all these years. Until recently, my father has never accepted me. We lived here as if we were servants, carefully watching every single move we make for fear we'd be kicked out someday. But now, I'm accepted. I finally have a father and a place to call home. But then it turns out that I'm a bastard. A bastard abandoned by his parents. No, darling. You're not a bastard. You're my own flesh and blood, and you mean the whole world to me. Blame me. I know that I'm useless and that you've suffered so much for many years, my son. <laughs> I used to be so proud of my home, but nothing ever truly belonged to me. <laughs> my son. Mother, why couldn't I be his real son? Sweetheart, <laughs> listen to me carefully. <laughs> you must never let your father know that you are not his son. Because if he finds out, he'll leave you with nothing at all, do you understand? But the most Mom. important thing is to never tell anyone. No one can know your identity. Is that clear? And about his fortune. Listen, you need to grab every single thing that belongs to you. Things that belong to me. <laughs> I'll give you a file, then go home and get some rest. You've been with my father the whole night. It's okay. I can still go to the hospital if you need me to. I can sleep there. Mirua, thank you for all you've done. I have to stay here and deal with the problems. I understand. Don't worry. Besides, I feel happy being able to help you. Hmm? What's that over there? Oh, that is Tessiro's anniversary book. How nostalgic. It reminds me of the company's ups and downs. Come on. Looking at this while thinking about my father in the hospital gives me hope we can pull through. Uh, 
You see this? This is the very first design made by Desiro. I wasn't even alive at the time. He believes what's passed down from one generation to the next is more important than innovation. He has always believed in passing things on to the next generation. Oh, that's it? Now I understand why he was against the Blue Flame project. It's probably because of what you said. We said Chai 